What's going on, guys? Stefan here. I have a Julia on. She's one of our active clients in Pursuit. Do you mind introducing yourself just so people know who, who we're chatting with? Sure. My name's Julia. I live out in, in Michigan, and I've been part of the program since September 2023. Yep. And it's March, so a while, like six months-ish, mm -hmm. you know? Um, and you actually joined with your boyfriend, Akeem. Yeah. Uh, we have a lot of couples that join. For those of you watching this, I probably am sending maybe this interview to somebody that is thinking about having their, their spouse or significant other join. And one thing that I can always say, and I know we just chatted about this is it's a, it's a little bit easier when you do it together. Mm -hmm. Um, because if you're living with somebody and I've, I've seen both sides of the spectrum and not that people have to do it together, but you can imagine if you have a spouse, that's kind of eating the, like you said, the Doritos or the snacks, and you're kind of trying to clean up your diet. It can be really, really hard. Mm -hmm. And the cool thing too, is you guys have different coaches. So it's same program, same concept, same belief system, same nutrition curriculum, but like you're not doing the exact same thing. Um, how's the, how's that been for you? Because I feel like some, I, I actually get a lot of requests. Hey, can you write us a nutrition pro, uh, or, you know, us a program. So they think that they're going to do the same thing at the gym and go together and do the same workouts and eat the same thing and have the same coach. Is that kind of what you thought you might want it before you joined? Um, to be honest, like, I think we were just both really excited and whatever, whatever came to us, we were going to like, I mean, we, we're yeah. still doing it together. Mm -hmm. Um, but the, honestly, I, 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 I think we were just both eager to, to get started. Um, yeah. yeah, we go to the gym together. Sometimes our workouts overlap and he's kind of doing the same exercises I'm doing. Um, but when it comes to nutrition, we're, we're both on the same plan and, um, yeah, we find it enjoyable. Yeah. Yeah. And the reason I asked that and kind of brought that up is because I think some people, and not that, uh, a man and a woman can't be on the same program, right? They can, but it's kind of, I always think it's nice that like you are doing it together, but like it's your journey and mm -hmm. it's his journey. Mm -hmm. Almost like your work, right? You're like, Hey, mm -hmm. I go do my job. You go mm -hmm. do your job. And then when we're off work, we come together and we share whatever the income, whatever. It's kind of the same thing. Mm -hmm. And we do want the same concepts. I mean, if you were on this completely different program than it came, like yeah, had nothing to do with it, that would also be challenging, right? Mm -hmm. Um, and so uh how if you don't mind sharing, like what do you think your biggest takeaway has been? I mean, you've been in the program six months, so you're halfway through, so you've been in the program a while. What has been like the biggest transformation from you from when you started back in September to now, March of 24? Um, one is nutrition, the importance obviously of, of mm -hmm. nutrition. Um the second I would say is um, when I first would go to the gym, I didn't have a workout plan. I would just go and use whatever machine yep. was open. So the the second thing was actually having a a plan going in and keeping track of the weight I'm I'm doing, the reps I'm doing. That's something I, I never I never did before. And I I think I can probably speak for, for Akeem as well is he just kind of came in and he would not keep track. You just kind of like be, yeah. okay, I'm doing arms today. And then you you just do all your arm workouts. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's going in with a plan and kind of like seeing your progress. Something, you know, looking back a few weeks and seeing, oh, wow, look, I've really, I've really picked up how much weight I've been um, lifting. Yeah. Yeah. And I, the analogy that I always like to use, and I think it works with both the nutrition and the exercise is, uh, finances and fitness. And the way I, the reason I say that is because like as adults, most of us, hopefully we're tracking our finances at some capacity, right? Like we look at it, we at least open up the mobile app, look at our bank account, kind of know where our stuff is. So why do we do that? Well, obviously we need to know, but we need data. We need data, facts, numbers, yeah. hard data to track things. So if you're like, hey, I want to I want to save money, even if you didn't have like a specific goal, like I just want to save money. 
Mm -hmm. you would still, even if you didn't have a goal, you would still want to make sure that like, if you're saving money, you see it grow. So you'd have to like, look at your bank account, track it, whatever. And sometimes in fitness, people go, well, I'm just going to like go work out, right? Arms, whatever, but they don't track anything. And then three months later, they're like, I feel I'm putting in effort because they are, they're going to the gym, they're spending time there, they're sweating, they're sore, but like, I'm not making progress. And I'm like, yeah, you're tracking no data. Like, that's just like you saying, yeah, I think I'm cutting back on some things and saving money, but never looking at numbers, right? Yeah. And so when we get the shift where you're like, okay, I'm going to the gym. I mean, you know what, you know what you're doing before you even step in because you can look at the workouts the day before, mm -hmm. right? So you're mm -hmm. like, okay, know what I'm doing in the gym. I have a game plan. And then the app, which I feel is easy to use. What do you what yeah. do you think? Yeah. I, I agree. I I really enjoy the app and kind of going into that the day before my workout, like the night before, mm -hmm. cause I like to work out in the morning, I'll look at what my workout is for the next morning. And I get excited. Today was actually a, a new workout that there my coach put in and I'm like, Oh, look at that. It's a, yeah. it's a new exercise. So yeah. I, I, I like that. I do like the app. Yeah. The app super easy to use. I think a lot of people, cause you've never done online coaching before, mm -mm. right? Uh, were you a little bit nervous before doing it? Like, oh, online, like this is kind of weird. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It, it was, it's different. Cause it's like, yep. okay. Like, but I will say with the app, I do like how you can look at the videos and it can help guide you. And it even has instructions. So yeah. you can, even though like you don't have a coach in person with you, it, in a way, I, I like the virtual more so than the actual in-person coach. Yeah. I, I, I Look, I, you know, you probably saw in my background, I did in-person for 10 plus years. And I think the thing that I would always like, even when I first started online, I was a little bit like, oh, it's going to be a little weird. But then I really broke it down and I'm like, okay, when I give people instructions, I go, hey, this is how you do a squat. Watch me. They'd watch me and then they go do it. So they're watching I mean, it could be a video, right? So mm -hmm. when we see people that are new to online coaching, we get a lot of the hesitation of like, is this going to work? Like I need somebody there and you and all of our hundreds and hundreds of clients are a testament to like, no, you you don't. And in fact, I would think it's more effective for the vast majority of people for the fact that it's more convenient. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, you can go when you want. If something comes up, you're not having to like cancel appointments, right? Um, and like you said, I could, I can't tell you how many times my clients came in, they go, well, what are we doing today? And I, because I don't know like where they are physically, whether yeah. they're sore, they hurt their ankle, whatever. I had a plan, but it was a lot of adjusting versus what you're doing is you're sitting there and saying, Hey, I'm excited. Like I'm looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to the gym. And you, when you can game plan before you actually go in, you execute better, mm -hmm. you know, um, the traditional model, and I, I know because sometimes I go to a commercial gym and I watch people. I just like, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm working out, but I watch. And I know people are just doing random crap. Like I, I know it for a fact. They're going in and some people kind of have a plan. Nobody's tracking anything. Nobody's putting it in their phone. Nobody's writing anything down. And like, that's not the most necessary thing. Like, but I know they're leaving results on the table because they're not tracking anything. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm glad the app has been easy for you. It's been effective and everything's in there, right? Your training, your communication, your nutrition, the community, like everything's in one easy to use app. Uh, how do you feel the experience has been working with your coach? Cause I'm sure people are like, all right, so the app works. It, it gives you these results, you're tracking data, but how is it actually working? Like the communication, the customer service, how's that been the last six months? It's been great. Riley, Riley's really, I really enjoy her, um, yeah. having her as a coach and how she explains things, you know, like, uh, it's, it's her, it's, it's her niche and yeah. she makes it easy to understand when she's like explaining like muscles and working certain muscles and how those muscles will improve other muscles and stuff. And you're like, Oh, okay. So, you know, sometimes you're like, Oh, in some of the workouts, you're like, well, this workout's actually going to be, you know, down the road, I'm planning on, you know, A, B and C for you. So she has like the long term, like, this is why we're doing these exercises now for 
these other exercises that are coming up in a few weeks so you'll be better you know able to do them and so forth um but it's been i i've really enjoyed her yeah and the communication yeah. like um easy uh, you know if i have a question you just send a message and with you know within a i don't know a few hours maybe a day like sh she's she's really quick in getting back yeah. Our communication is important. I mean, we're online coaches, right? So we have to be fast communicators, open communicators. Um, what, uh, you know, you mentioned something too, when you're like, she, she explains things. How do you feel like you've learned a lot in the last six months? Yeah, I do. I, I would say like, um, nutrition, I would say that's the that's the, the the biggest thing for me mm -hmm. is a mental a positive mental change in nutrition um mm. and how important that is and getting your protein in <laughs> that's ah. something i never <laughs> when you were talking about going to the you know going to the gym and seeing people just randomly doing stuff that was me as well yeah. as just eating just randomly just eating whatever um but I would say that the, 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 the mental nutrition change is right. the, the key takeaway. Is that like, obviously knowing what to eat and the portion sizes and protein and what foods are healthy, but also when you say that the nutrition changes it, maybe you just look at the way you eat and food a little bit differently too. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, yeah. yeah. That's, that's powerful. And I, and, and yes. nutrition is one of those things where I'm like, all right, we got it as humans. We have to eat all day, every day, multiple times per day, mm -hmm. every day till the day we die. So <laughs> you might as well learn it, right? Like mm -hmm. it's, you know, we just kind of, I think a lot of people just go through and they're like, oh, food. And they don't really take the time to, to educate themselves. And I'm glad you've learned a lot because, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm sure Riley's told you this. And I know six months ago, I told you this is like, our goal is to set you off, set you up to be sustainable like eventually, right? It's why we educate you. It's why we give you the why behind things. So you're like, oh, like those light bulbs are mm -hmm. super powerful yeah. because I know that like, even if I can get you to tone up and gain some muscle and get stronger, which I'm sure all those things have happened for you so far, mm -hmm. like I want you to be able to do it on your own. And so what I don't want is a program where we're just barking orders, right? Yeah. Like where there's like, go do this. But it sounds like it's been... A lot different actually it's been educational it's been yeah. um like she's guided you i know she i know coach riley she's our holistic health coach by the way for those of you listening so i know she's probably sent you a lot of links and mm -hmm. <laughs> things that kind of help you out right mm -hmm. yes educational yes it has been very educational and it's not just barking orders like there's you know why what it's you know welcoming questions yeah it's a collaborative relationship. Yes. That's the way I always say is like, <laughs> I'm building a relationship with our clients where mm -hmm. it is kind of that open door. And um, we want you to ask the questions, right? Like that is important um, because when you get the answers, you become a little more empowered each time. Mm -hmm. um, what would you say the biggest results are? I mean, I know nutrition, but I don't know if you feel comfortable sharing, but you don't have to give numbers. They're helpful, but uh as far as like what you've seen with your body or strength or energy, like from a physiological standpoint, mm -hmm. what results have you seen? I, I've lost, um, I, I feel like in, like, I've definitely lost weight in my, um, hips in yeah. my like midsection. Um, I would say being a female, like it's this mentality of like, oh, if I do too much weight, I'm going to bulk up. And that's yeah. not, the nope. case at all. So don't be ladies, don't be afraid of increasing your weight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, and, but I would, um, yeah, like I, my, my problem areas, I feel like I'm, I'm like, it took some time for me to like gain the weight. And now it's just like toning it down or excuse me, toning up and um, reducing the weight. But I would say like in my midsection, my hips, I've definitely like lost some inches. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. And yeah, the weight thing is, you know, if you look at, if you go on Instagram, 
and you go look at all the fitness people and mm -hmm. you look at the girls with the great bodies, they're all lifting like four plus days per week consistently. Actually, they're lifting very similar to what the guys lift, like the same t movements, mm -hmm. heavyweight pushing it. And I, I mean, the fitness industry goes through these waves where, you know, back in the seventies, eighties, it was like step aerobics. And then, you know, mm -hmm. it, it just goes through these different phases, but really I think we're coming into an era where people are realizing like, especially women, Hey, I can do the strength training that guys can, I can go lift weights. I can do lat mm -hmm. pull downs. I can do bench press. And that is really, what's going to not only give you the, I think the most optimal physique, depending on what your goals are, but building muscle. And mm -hmm. I know a lot of women go, I want to feel stronger. You know, mm -hmm. I, I tried to do this at my job where I went on a hike and I felt so weak. So also, you know, Riley's really big into that as like empowering you from a mm -hmm. mental standpoint, but also a physical standpoint. So you are stronger, you are more capable. And honestly, the more muscle you have, the better metabolism you have, the more fat you'll, you'll burn. And I know that's why she, she drills into you more protein, lift more, <laughs> yeah. you know, yeah. more protein. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I guess my last thing is, uh, and kind of question is if you, if you could speak to somebody that was kind of in your position, maybe on the fence of like, Hey, me and my partner want to join and, or they could want to do something together, but we don't really know what to do. Maybe we'll do some in-person training or maybe we'll do online. Like, what would you say to, to that couple? Um, as far as your experience and how it's been for you and what would you recommend for them? I would definitely recommend it. I would say, what do you have to lose? Yeah. Um, it's an experience. And um, I, I would say like, I would definitely want them, like, especially for a couple, I think it really is beneficial for two people, especially, especially if they both want to, um, get a better physique and have better nutrition, um, that they do it together. Cause then they're, they help support each other along the way. Um, I would highly recommend, and I would just say like, um, at the end you're hopefully like, I, I don't see why you would have any regret. You're oh. the best investment is in yourself. And this, this is definitely investing in yourself and, um, you know, you're worth it. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's great advice. And I do think doing it together and I tell everybody mm -hmm. and, and, you know, you had to zoom call with me and that's kind of how we welcome people mm -hmm. in our program and want to make sure the person's at a good spot. They're a good fit. And, uh, it's like, even as online coaches, we're there. I know it sounds weird because it's virtual, but we are really there way more than an in-person can or would ever be. But mm -hmm. We're still not there all the time. Your significant other is probably going to be there the most, right? Mm -hmm. um, and so it's one of those things where like, I'm not at the store with you. I didn't go on a date night to see what you're eating. You know, like I, those other things where, especially nutritionally, where mm -hmm. you make those decisions, if you can both be on board together, that's going to always be more powerful. Like, right? hey, we're, we're going to save up money this year. And you're like, all right, let's do it together. Imagine one person's like, no, I, I'm not doing that. You're like, wow, this is not going to work. So when you can both be on board really with anything, right? Other stuff in your relationship, this is just it. And I, I do see a lot of couples that feel like, hey, we need to really take control of our health. And um, I think we do a good job of it. We have actually several couples in our program that are doing really well, like Chelsea and Charlie, and uh, she's a nurse and he's a firefighter. And so we have people that have like crazy schedules and mm -hmm. I'm like, all right, you're doing your thing with your coach, same program. You're doing th things with your coach and then you guys come together and you're both trying to get fit. You're both prioritizing mm -hmm. your health. And so you don't have to literally do the exact same hundred okay. steps, but you're, you're still doing it together. So I appreciate you jumping on. I'm glad it's been a good experience for you. I'm looking forward uh, to you continuing. And uh, yeah, I, Coach Riley's aw an awesome coach. You know yeah. that. And she's very passionate about what she does and we're very lucky to have her. So I appreciate you taking time out of your busy morning to jump on. And uh, I know this will be helpful for people. Yeah, thank you uh, very much. Thanks.